you can Einstein's general theory of relativity, that general relativity, is his theory of gravity. And it's, it's a theory where space and time are, are distorted by things, anything in the universe, right? It's stars and planets. and So that, that's what gravity is. It's the distortion of space and time by mass and energy. That's Einstein's theory. So you can, uh, and, and it's been done, but you can develop... Uh, sort of things where you say, well, if we could make this geometry of space and time, if we could distort it in this way, then indeed you can build a warp drive, right? Like we should right, do. right, right. But um, it always turns out, as far as we can tell, that the other question is, but what kind of stuff would you need? What kind of matter or energy or field, whatever it is, what kind of thing would you need to make that geometry? And it always turns out that they, those things don't appear to exist, so these particular kinds of matter and energy, that if you had them, you'd be able to do that with space and time. We don't think you can have them. <laughs> and, and, and so it's kind of a, uh, it's a bummer, right? It's a, uh, because uh, Stephen is Hawking... Is it possible that we don't have them here, but that in different planetary systems, different different environments that these elements could exist it, it's not it's not going to be elements it's going to be kind of some kind of quantum field some kind of energy or something and so you can sort of try to speculate but um stephen hawking wrote a very famous paper called the chronology protection conjecture so conjecture is important so it's a guess not proved where he said that whatever the ultimate laws of physics are that we don't have them at the moment string theory whatever it is then they will be such that you can't do this because chronology protection means protect the 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 present from the future right mm. you know? so in, in other words you can't build a time machine that goes back in time right so but so that but because einstein's theory allowed you to imagine such a thing even though you might not be able to build it it's not been proven beyond doubt that you can't somehow make these kinds of quantum fields or whatever it is that you need to make wormholes, for example, stable wormholes you can go through. And so it's not been proven. So it's just it's suspected that that's going to be the case. By the way, to the, the final thing, this will be very neat because it goes right back to what I said at the start, that, that one of the pictures of how I said there was this thing, the black hole information paradox, and we thought Stephen's calculation was that no information comes out. We now think it comes out. So we now think that black holes do not destroy information. We're pretty sure. So it's been proven mathematically to most people's satisfaction that the information ends up out again. So if you went into a black hole, the information would be out in that Hawking radiation that could reconstruct you, in the, in, but only in the sense that if, we, if a nuclear bomb landed on us now, then in principle the information would be still there in the future and we could be reconstructed, right? But it's still in principle there. And then, but the question is, how does it get out? How is it getting out? How is the information that is you ending up outside again? And and it's not, the physical picture is not really understood, but the link is that one of the pictures that people are beginning to suggest to have is that there is some kind of wormholes, in a sense, some kind of wormhole that connects the inside of the black hole to the outside. And so a picture is that your atoms and everything, your bits get scrambled up and go basically through the wormholes and come out again. Um, but they're funny kind of wormholes. So they're, 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 people don't really understand this, but mathematically it looks like maybe. So it looks like maybe there's some role for wormholes, these things, the science fiction things, of a, after a fashion, some kind of wormhole. There's some role for it in the way the universe works. So it's, it's really cool. The other, the last thing I'll say, because anyway, is there's a thing called ER equals EPR, which is so EPR was the spooky action at a distance. So we may talk about that before. You know, in quantum mechanics, there's this entanglement thing where something can be separated by a million light years, but if you do something to it, it seems like this thing responds, right? Not in a way that you can transmit information, but it responds. So entanglement. There's a picture of that. So that's. Einstein, Podolsky and Rose and EPR, where they wrote a paper on this saying, we don't like this. It must be something wrong with quantum mechanics. We don't think there is now. This is the basis of quantum computers. So we build things that rely on this effect. ER is Einstein-Rosen, which is Einstein-Rosen bridge, which is wormhole. 
So they also published a paper about wormholes, Einstein and Rosen, in the 30s. And so the idea is that you could picture that somehow as being a kind of wormhole that connects the entangled particles. So that's how this entanglement works. It, another description of quantum entanglement is a wormhole kind of geometry. And th this is this is part of the cutting edge of research into black holes, but also the structure of space and time and quantum entanglement and how quantum entanglement might produce space and time. And it's related to the way that quantum computers work. So it's become a really hot topic because people are trying to build quantum computers and program quantum computers. And these are the kind of problems you have to face about quantum entanglement and how you maintain it and what it means. And there was a paper recently, which is quite a controversial paper, but it, that I think was the Google quantum computer, that, that, which is one of the best ones. And it's not using it as a computer. It's using it just as these qubits, these little quantum systems that are kind of very stable, that are the basis of quantum computing. And it's using those qubits and setting them up in such a way that something that looks like a kind of a wormhole is created in the quantum computer. It's kind of a one-dimensional wormhole, and it's a bit kind of technical and everything. But it looks like it might be the first hint of how you build space Whoa. from qubits. And so it, it's and it's so that paper was published. Oh, there it is. That's it, a holographic wormhole. It's, it's important to say that wormhole, it's what's called a hologram. It's not really in our universe. It's kind of a different thing. Because that's the last thing I'll say, because I've, <laughs> I've got to blow your mind because your mind looks bad. It's so blown. Th th these theories, uh, the, the, the hologram thing is quite well established now. And it's coming from a thing that you may have talked about with other people on the show, the, the ADS-CFT conjecture, the uh, great physical Maldacena. So the idea is that you can have a quantum theory living on a boundary. So it, you could imagine, picture a sphere with a, with a quantum theory living on the surface. And that quantum, there's a completely equivalent description of whatever's going on, that, the physics, in the interior of the, of the sphere. So it's almost as if the interior of the space is a hologram of the theory that lives on the surface. And, and, and it's kind of not accepted, but one, many physicists think our universe is like that. So, the, the, so what we'll be saying is that we're having this conversation now and there's an equivalent description of this somehow in a theory that does not contain space and time. That's a completely equivalent description that lives on a, in, in fewer dimensions on a surface somehow that's surrounding us. And it's really woolly and hand-wavy because we don't fully know what it means, but it, but it would mean that we're holograms. So that this, this is a hologram 